match and then showing you a bunch of garbage the rest of the time. Well, and, that's what uh, TNA so, always did, though. It, TNA so, always puts their best match first. And then for the most, but nowadays, now they have guys that could go. And Chaos, could you go in those main event spots against Kurt Angle, against Nigel McGuinness, guys like, I mean, guys like that. And, and, and TNA does a test, so you could juice if you wanted to. I don't know that you want to. I personally am a fan of juice. I, I, you know, if you want to do it, you could do it there. You, and there's nobody really, I mean, you could probably hang with anybody in WWE except for, I mean, I'm not even except, I'm just saying, you got like guys that are top Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Rey Mysterio that are top, like top guys that could actually uh, have a, have good matches. But at TNA, there's a lot of guys that can have good matches. There's like, a lot of guys in in uh, Ring of Honor that could have good matches. What are you thinking? Yeah, you know, you know, like I said before, and I'll say it again. I definitely, you know, can go with those guys. Um, but you know, going back to you know what what the problem is with the uh, with the wrestling pay per views is that there's too many pay per views, um, you know, month to month. And then they're not really focusing on the storylines, and I think UFC is falling into that category by doing too many pay-per-views, and they're losing out on their on their on their fighters because everyone's getting hurt fighting too many times a year. Um, so I think if if, people, if uh, the wrestling companies TNA and WWE really focused on the storylines and really really focused on their characters and didn't just shit on them after they you know they give guys like Kofi Kingston a win over Randy Orton and then really don't follow up on it, you know, and, and they're giving guys like uh, Sheamus the belt. You know, you just hope that they stick with it and not just change their mind next week because they, the, you know, creatives go uh, deciding to go to a, into a different direction. So I think really the storyline is really what captivates the crowds and really what uh, gets people that want to go see, you know, professional wrestling fights. You know, I think that's why uh, UFC over the uh, this past year has done so well is really building up its fights. You know, really with uh, their UFC countdowns um, and things like that sort. So. Um, yeah, yeah, so do, so, so do you think it, it's not it's not so much the storylines, but it's the character of the person in the storyline. It's not it's not so much a storyline because they make up these stupid storylines in pro wrestling. Where uh, what was that, the the Katie Vick storyline? Everyone knows that didn't happen. You know what I mean? I mean, like in the, in WWE uh, and TNA store these storylines. Everyone knows that shit didn't happen. You know, I mean, they, it, you, you don't see UFC making up some storyline where B.J. Penn rapes George St. Pierre's mother 10 years ago, and now George St. Pierre wants to get revenge. It's just, it just is. Like, like in right. the old no. days, it, it just is. It, you know, in the old days, it just, the four horsemen hated Dusty Rhodes. They just did. And because they were, they were competing, and Dusty Rhodes was trying to take the belts and take money off their, out of their fucking pockets. And it just was. Because it just ha- that just happened. They didn't say uh, Dusty or uh, Ric Flair and Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson gang raped Dusty Rhodes' son and made, turned him into gold dust. You know, what I, I mean, mean you got all this stupid shit. No one believes that stuff. And I think that's what the problem is: is that these companies, you know, they rely on writers and not bookers. You know, former wrestlers that know what how to. Uh, you know, they, you, you're not writing for a TV show or a movie. You're 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 writing for a live wrestling crowd, and how can you capture the psychology of a live crowd? Um, and I don't well, think I like, think I like what Hulk Hogan is saying, where he's like, you need writers to format the times of the TV show. But other than that, just let the guys go out and get over like you know, like Billy Graham did, like Dusty Rhodes did, like Ric Flair did, like Arn Anderson did. Like the, All those guys just got over because they came out and they – said what they wanted to say, and they were really good at saying what they wanted to say, and then, you, you know, that was it. There you yeah, go. you know, just give the guys so, a little bit of direction, show, show them what you want, and then let them do their job, you know? I think that's really the best, you know, the best way to do it, so. All right, Chaos, thank you a lot, man. Thank you, you, you really, uh, you know, you turned it on tonight. You fucking told everybody about it. Good luck. I hope you get into ROH, TNA, WWE. You know, I hope you you get on it and get out there because I think, uh, as far as I said, you know, you're, you're the top guy in California. Do you have uh, websites uh, besides yeah. Santino Paulus? You tell everybody where they everyone can go check you out. You know, definitely. I want you guys to check out SantinoBros.net. That's my website. It's my school website. Um, I update it personally. Um, from there, you guys can find me on Facebook, Joey Chaos Munoz, or either on MySpace. It's the Full Contact Dojo. Um, send me a message or even just email me directly, chaos at santinobros.net. 
um, for any of those uh, bookers out there, promoters looking for California talent um, that's not exposed or, you know, tired. Um, so go, you are definitely looking for the triple threat superstar chaos. You know, I really want to thank you guys for having me on here on Awesome Bomb Fight Radio. I really appreciate it, guys. All right. Thank you, Chaos. And we'll see everybody next week. See you later, Violence Jack. Take care, Jose. What the fuck are you doing? Get back on the floor. I'm teaching the starting position of wrestling. That's not wrestling, dude. That's fucking gay.